I highly suggest testing this new targeting type for sponsor event video for your account because we have seen some really good results for our client's account. And in this video, I'm going to share with you what is this new targeting type, the results and why is it working so well, how you can do the same. And at the end of the video, I will share with you three simple tips you can implement when starting this campaign to get a low SOS from day one. Before starting who I am, I'm Stefano Fretto, I'm the CEO at Nomads, we are a team of Amazon PPC experts and we manage more than $20 million in ad spend in 2023. So we are always trying to find ways to use the new targeting time, the new feature that Amazon is releasing to improve the profitability of our clients because that is our goal. Keep finding ways to decrease the, the ad spend, increase the total sales and so increase the profit of our clients. So in this video, you will see what we are doing in this client's account. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, let's see what is this new match type I'm talking about. We call these automatic campaigns, even if it's not automatic campaigns, but they perform very similar to automatic campaigns. But the name of the new match type is theme. So in this case, Amazon is defining as theme keywords related to your landing page or keyword related to your brand. And as you can see inside this ad group, we have only this keyword related to your landing page enabled because uh, we want to segment these two themes in two different campaigns. So what does it mean? What does it mean that we are targeting keyword related to your landing page? It means that Amazon is seeing, okay, this is the ASIN we are targeting in these sponsored video campaigns since we can target only one ASIN. And Amazon is trying to find what are the, the keyword or search term, better search term, that are similar to our to our product. So it's it's performing like an automatic campaigns, close match or lose match campaign. And as you can see, like we are running this campaign for a few days now, we spent $500 and we got almost $2,000 in ad sales uh, for, for, this, uh, for this campaign. Amazing for this account. Um, so this is uh, what you will see. And if you check the search term, most likely you will not see the search term. These are search terms like automatic campaigns. Like you can find the same search term under automatic campaigns. They are quite broad, but they still perform. And the thing we will see now why it's performing so well is thanks to the low CPC. And now I will compare the, this, this CPC compared to our normal sponsored video campaigns. But to recap, these film campaigns, one film is targeting keyword related to our product, like automatic campaigns and keyword related to your brand is targeting our branded keyword. So for example, if our brand is Nike, we are targeting Nike shoes. We are getting clicks on Nike shoes or Nike shoes for men. The, all these kind of keyword, they will be covered by this uh, theme. So this is a new thing that you can, uh, you can test, but let me show you why this is working and, uh, and, the, res uh, and uh, the results of the other campaigns. So if I go in the advertising console and I search only for sponsored brand video, we use this nomenclature, so SBV, uh, and sort by spend. Look at this, the top spending campaigns, the CPC is 1.83, uh, uh, the second one is 1.69, uh, 180, 181, uh, 3.1, this one is a, is a test we're running for vertical videos. And look at this new campaign, these automatic campaigns, the CPC is 1.1. Uh, so it's much lower compared to the others and we have almost the same the same conversion rate. So that is the key of this campaign, which is the same thing we see across uh, uh, sponsored product manual targeting and sponsored product automatic campaigns. So what you will see if you do this analysis for your sponsored product manual campaigns and automatic campaigns, you will see that the manual campaigns, they have a higher CPC compared to automatic campaigns. So automatic campaigns, most of the time they have a lower conversion rate, but thanks to the lower CPC, they will get a good SUS. So uh, this is the key. The key for this campaign is the low CPC. And the conversion rate is, all, is very similar or a bit lower than uh, the other campaign. But the, thanks to the low CPC, we can really do well with this campaign. And luckily not many people knows about this new targeting type. So it's now the time to invest in this campaign test it, get profitable sales, because look, this is the campaign with the lowest SUS. This is a brand keyword campaign, so we're targeting our brand keyword, 
so it's not fair to compare. And, but if you compare this campaign to this one, to another very similar campaign, which is a SBV EXA campaign, you can see that the performance are much better. So this is why it's performing, and these are the performance of at the SBV for this account. Let me show you how you can do the same. So to do the same, you just need to click here, create campaign. You need to click on sponsor brand. Here you need to select the name. Here always I would highly suggest to put a, a very specific name, SBV, here easy. Put it inside a portfolio. Start with a low budget. So if you can start with a $10 budget, it would be amazing. Always drive page visits. Don't use uh, Blue CPM since they have a wrong attribution. You can check another video we did about this, uh, um, this uh, new goal from Amazon. Uh, automatic bidding. This is a new thing. I will do another video about this. And after you can select the video. Uh, add group uh, name. Here you can use version A, version 1. We will see why it's important to call the ad group with version one. And we will see in a second. After you need to select the product, you want to advertise. And then here, as you can see, Amazon already added automatically, which are these new theme uh, match type, keyword related to your brand, keyword related to your landing page. So keyword related to your brand will not get too much clicks. And we highly suggest to segment these two uh, match types in two different campaigns because this one will get a very good SUS compared to this one, because here we are targeting branded keyboard, instead here we are targeting generic keyboard. And so in this case, I will highly suggest to remove this and keep only this one. And another important thing, start with a low bid. Don't start with a crazy bid, don't start with a, with a very high bid, start with a low bid, start with a $1 bid, or check your every CPC for sponsored brand video and start with, a, with the alpha of that amount. Don't start with the suggested bid because here the key is low CPC. If we don't get a low CPC, most likely we will not get the better performance compared to other sponsored brand video campaign. Okay, so this is how you can create this campaign. We don't suggest to add to this campaign other keyword. So keep it simple, target only this theme and see how it performs. And let me show you now three other tips that you can implement today to improve the performance of this campaign from day one that we always do for our clients. So if you scroll down, you can see here negative keyword targeting. And here is very important when we launch a new campaigns. In this case, we call these automatic campaigns because we are targeting a lot of new search terms. It's important that we are the new, uh, we are the negative exact. So for example, if we sell blue shoes, we don't want to get clicks for blue shoes. Or we can do something even better. We can go here under negative phrase and we can say, okay, my product is a red product. So I don't want to get clicks for a blue uh, search term. So I add the blue as a negative phrase. And in that way, we will never get clicks for blue. So what we suggest here is to have a list of negative words you don't want to get clicks on and add all of them here for that product you are advertising. And that should help you to improve the performance and to get clicks only on relevant keyword. And later on, when you have more information about um, this campaign, so by analyzing the search term, so if, if we come back here, you can click here on the search term. Let's sort by spend. You can see for which search term we're getting clicks and what you can do, you can go under negative targeting and add the new, um, new targeting here. So as you can see here, we had already a bunch of negative phrases or negative exact because we know that this keyword, they don't perform for our product. Okay, this is the first tip. The, sub, the second tip I would like to share with you is the inside the, the ads. So inside the ads, as you can see here, we have four different videos. So what we are doing here, we are testing for this targeting. So targeting this new uh, type uh, theme, new match type name theme. Uh, we are using four different ads. So as you can see, we're using this one, which is a, a, so, uh, some kind of creative and another creative, another creative, another creative. So we have four different videos that Amazon is A-B testing and seeing which one is performing the best. And in this case, this one is the one that is spending the most with the high CTR and uh, a very good SUS. But what we can do here, we can test multiple videos and we can see which one is performing the best. And we tell Amazon, Amazon, please tell us which one is performing the best and invest in the one you think is, the, is, working, uh, is working better. In this case, this one is working the best. 
and uh, we are doing this for all our videos so all our video campaigns so we have multiple ads inside the the ad group so obviously you need to have more assets to do this but i suggest to have different kind of videos to do that you just need to create here create ad and here you will be able to add a new video inside uh, uh, your ad group in this way you will see here which one is performing the best uh, so this is the second tip very cool to do this uh, and the third one and this i want to reiterate start with a low bid it's so simple this thing but uh, it will change uh, will be a game changer for this campaign because as we discussed the goal here is to get a low cpc uh, and if you start already with a three dollar bid you will overspend so i suggest to start with a low bid and slowly increasing the bid until we get clicks and order so as you can see in this campaign we start spending quite a lot uh, already from day one but luckily we didn't put a very high uh, high bid so amazon was not able to spend too much because if you put a three dollars bid amazon will try to spend that amount even if even if it's dynamic down only i know these kind of things amazon will always try to increase your cpc so i suggest to start with a low bid so start uh, with a low bid and slowly increasing the bid by checking every day and increasing the bid or using an automation we did a lot of videos about automation with a, a software named Skin Insights, we are a partner with, so feel free to check our videos. So these are the main three things. I suggest to test this new video. Again, this needs to be part of a process with this new campaign, nothing with, I mean, your sales will increase most likely, but uh, this is just a part of a process. So always remember that you need to have a clear process in place and uh, run this test on a small scale and later on scale this but hopefully this will be helpful for your product. There are a few other videos we did about sponsoring videos, so check out our YouTube channel to see our videos and how we optimize Amazon BPC campaigns. If you have any questions, please drop a comment uh, below, and i see you in the next video.